Good morning, everybody. Street Tips here. It's the morning after I've uh, got my silver cell placed back in operation. You can see some of that silver has been consumed by the electrolytic action. The current flow has dropped way off. So let's take a look down in here and see exactly what we got going on in the cell. This is about, what, maybe 12, 14 hours of operation. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks fantastic. Let me see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. There's our pure silver growing down in the electrolytic silver cell after one day, or about 14 hours, maybe 18 hours, something like that, of growth. Here you can see the silver in that anode filter basket has collapsed just by me picking it up, picking the lid up like that to look inside the cell. And when it does that, more silver comes in contact with the electrolyte and the amps jump up. It went from 0.5 up to 1.5. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some silver to this just pull out the anode electrode bar you can see down in there all the silver has been consumed by the electrolytic action that was full yesterday when we started the cell up and so today what I'm going to do is refill the anode filter with some of our impure silver put the uh, anode electrode bar back on and if you look up here now the amps have jumped way up to 2.5 amps it is the amperage the current flow that does the work that causes our silver to dissolve in the silver cell about 8 p.m. Uh, 24 hours after we've placed our cell in operation you can see the amps have fallen off again and they're wandering all over the place and what's happened is the silver in this anode basket has been consumed you can see I can push it down in there It gets consumed as the current flow goes through it. And we're gonna add some more impure silver to this thing. All right, that should do it. And then we're gonna reinstall the anode bar, anode electrode bar there. And you'll see now the amps have jumped way back up above two amps that's because we pressed the impure silver down inside of the uh, silver cell it's making good contact with the electrolyte now and here's what we look like after about 24 hours of operation in the silver cell it's 24 hours of operation What we're going to do now is we're going to dig through this uh, pure silver here and see if we can find some of those extra large crystals that we had growing in there. Nice big chunky crystal from the silver cell. Let's put that. Look at that thing, man. Wow. I set that on the paper down here. Nice big fat crystal there unusual shape set him over here 
couple more down in the silver. There's a beauty. Set him down out of the way. I'm going to dig through here and find some more of these. There's one right there on top. Look at that thing. Nice. And what we'll do is I'll list these on my eBay site. And we'll sell these things separately on my eBay site. So now we'll get a weight on these. Put them up on the scale. See what kind of weight. They are fragile. And they will break apart. No matter how delicately we try to handle them. Anyway, that's what we'll do. We're off offer these for sale on my eBay site and this will conclude the video thank you for watching